What's up my peeps, I'm here with another prediction game video for Fastlane. It is going to be Rusev versus John Cena with the United States Championship on the line. So John Cena is going to be challenging for the US title. The last time he challenged for that championship has to have been over 10 years ago. Uh, so it's been a while. Uh, the past couple of years, John Cena has only challenged for the major championship, you know, the World Heavyweight Championship and the WWE Championship, and recently the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, um, and also the Tag Team Titles. He's fought for the Tag Team Titles a couple times. Uh, when's the last time he fought for the Tag Team Titles? I don't know, but more recently than the US title, that's for sure. I do remember him, you know, teaming up and, well, winning the tag team titles with The Miz, winning the tag team titles with David Otunga, winning the tag team titles with, uh, HBK. But anyways, yeah, man, I, I think this match, I think a lot of us expected this match to take place, but just like Stardust and Goldust, I expected the match to take place at WrestleMania, not at Fastlane. Uh, so, just like Stardust and Goldust, we might get a rematch between Rusev and John Cena. Now, if only one of these matches ends up getting a rematch, speaking of Goldust and Stardust and Rusev and John Cena, then I think it's John Cena and Rusev that get the rematch at Mania. But, you know, it's, uh, it definitely wasn't expected uh, for, for Fastlane. Uh, the way things were going around Survivor Series time it seemed like if Rusev was going to be feuding with somebody around this time, you know, the pay-per-view before WrestleMania, that it was going to be against Ryback, possibly a rematch against Ryback. Like, I thought that Ryback and Rusev would maybe have a match at the Rumble, and then a rematch at Fastlane. And then, after the Rumble was over with, you know, the pay-per-view, I thought maybe we'd see a, uh, a matchup between Rusev and Ryback at Fastlane, the first match between the two on pay-per-view. But, you know, after the Rumble... Uh, we got that backstage segment where Rusev kind of interrupted John Cena's interview and they were about to fight backstage but people separated them and then I think the next night on Raw they announced that the match was official. So that was kind of a su surprise. When I saw that I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. But then I was like, you know, I think this could lead to a rematch at WrestleMania. Like, somehow Rusev remains undefeated against Cena and then you know, they get a rematch at Mania. But something else that took me by surprise is that they put the US title on the line. I did not expect that. But anyways, when it comes to who I think is going to win this match, I can see basically two possible outcomes. Outcome number one, Rusev uh, wins the match by pinfall, DQ, or a countout. Outcome number two, John Cena wins by DQ or Kana. Basically, any way where Rusev still remains the United States Championship. I do not see John Cena walking out with the title. Uh, so, I'm going to go with Rusev winning it by, you know, any means. You know, whether it be pinfall, DQ, or, or count out. Well, actually, I, I doubt he's just going to win by DQ. But I could see Rusev winning by pinfall. Uh, I think, you know, with the eye injury that... John Cena's having, I think they're going to have Rusev, you know, work on that eye, and I wouldn't be surprised if Rusev picks up the win with the super kick, like he did when he eliminated Ryback at Survivor Series. I think he's going to target the eye with a super kick a couple times, and then maybe get the pinfall win, and I actually wouldn't be surprised if maybe Sheamus returns and costs Cena the matchup, and we see a heel turn from Sheamus. Bottom line, I think Rusev is going to win this match. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can click that like button, and I'm out. See ya.